Meet Marcus, a regular guy who decided it was time for a change. Fed up with the daily grind, he started. Okay, family, I'm back at it again with the quick Create Studio 3 tip. Now, let me ask you this. Are you using Create Studio 3 and you're having a hard time figuring out how to do your camera angles? Let me ask you this. If you started out with one scene, let's say you have one scene set up and you start working with the camera, right? And as you can see in this scene right here, the camera zooms in, but then it's already zoomed in on the next frame. Now, how do you fix this problem? Now this right here, this tip is gonna be real simple and easy. This is how you actually fix that so that you make a smooth transition. Now, first thing that I did, I added an actual transition so that I go from one scene to the other. So on this transition, seeing as though it takes less than a second for the transition to occur, what we wanna actually do is we want to stretch the scene out just so that we go down to looking at it from one second increments. And what we wanna do then is double click on the camera section. We wanna take that camera scene section right there and we want to make sure that we're scrolling down, shortening that camera sequence down to as small as possible. Now, what this is actually going to do is allow the transition to happen virtually seamlessly. So as you can see, if we scroll back, we see the scene and we see that the camera is still minimized, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to stop it right there and then we're just going to go and click expand camera. So we're going to click the expand camera, which is going to make sure that this scene here, that this actually goes to full screen. Now, as you can see, as we scroll, it's going through a, a quick transition, right? So another thing we want to do is make sure that our easing is set to linear so that the transition happens as smooth as possible, as fast as possible, because we don't want it to seem like it's zooming out. We want it to seem like it's an automatic camera scene where it's already in full screen, right? So as you can see, it's still showing a zoom in motion. That's where extending this out makes all the difference. So we're just gonna move this camera transition next to the first camera transition. Now, once when we zoom out, we're gonna see that that camera transition becomes very small. It's there and what it's gonna allow us to do is transition seamlessly without it even appearing like there is a transition going on. So let's press the play again and see how that transition looks now. Or change. Fed up with the daily grind, he started searching for ways to take control of his life. All right, awesome. So we have the camera scene, we have the transition. It goes from one scene to another seamlessly without it looking like the camera changed at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick Create Studio 3 tip. And if you're interested in learning more and actually using Create Studio 3 yourself, I have a special offer. I actually created a bundle package for all of you guys, and it actually includes a lot of great things. Backgrounds, music, all kinds of things, character creations. So if you want to create one of your favorite celebrities, I may have them listed in this bundle so that you'll know how to create them. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next Create Studio 3 quick tip. Yeah. Uh, uh. Election season got him talking all wild, man Obama on stage like he my daddy, damn Van Jones telling me I need a mommy too But I trust myself more than I trust you Politicians think they using me as a pawn But I'm a king, been moving all along Got one mother, got one father, that's true I don't need no leaders, I'm seeing right through Every four years they come around again Talking real slick, trying to act like friends Obama on the mic like you raising me up